This is your local election headquarters. 8 News starts now. Breaking tonight, incumbent state Senator Joe Morrissey is out and his primary opponent, LaSharice Ayer, now has the chance to take his place. Good evening, I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton, and that is not the only major upset tonight. We are your local election headquarters on this primary night with all the latest results beginning with this race. As you can see, Ayer takes the Democratic nomination with 69% of the vote in the 13th Senate District. That includes parts of Petersburg, Henrico, and other local counties. Aired will now face off against Republican Eric Dietrich in November. And in the 12th Senate District, Glenn Sturdivant narrowly defeats incumbent Amanda Chase for the Republican nomination. He took 39% of the vote. Their third opponent, Tina Ramirez, took just 23% to fight despite her heavy efforts with political ads. Sturdivant was a Virginia senator from 2016 to 2020 before losing to Ghazala Hashmi. Then the district lines were redrawn. So what does all of this mean for Virginia's General Assembly seats come November's general election? Our Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander breaks it all down for us tonight. Several high profile incumbents won't be returning to the State House next January. So I wanted to find out what insight, if any, the losses for controversial Democrat Joe Morrissey in the 13th District and Republican Amanda Chase in the 12th could give us ahead of November. Tonight, a major shakeup in the Virginia General Assembly. Democrat La Charisse Ayer delivered a knockout blow to Senator Joe Morrissey's chances of winning re-election. Rich Marr is a professor of political science at Randolph-Macon College. Because Morrissey himself is such a peculiar figure and has been in the news so much lately, and I really think it's just kind of exhausted his political capital down in Petersburg. Aired a former delegate made abortion rights a central part of her campaign. In a victory statement, she said she'll be a firewall for reproductive rights in Richmond. I asked Marr if he thought focusing on abortion is a winning strategy for Democrats. Kind of pump the brakes on everybody thinking that this is going to be the winning strategy for all candidates, that Democrats are just going to cruise to victory in Virginia in the fall and in presidential election next year by talking about abortion rights simply. In Chesterfield, Republican incumbent Amanda Chase has also been sent packing. Chase, one of the most conservative members of the state Senate, fell to former Senator Glenn Sturdivant. Marr says fellow ultra-conservative candidate Tina Ramirez played spoiler for Chase. But her particular kind of brand of politics as a conservative firebrand, as someone who's like holding the mantle for Donald Trump, I don't think that that's necessarily dead or that something's bad about that in terms of a, a winning strategy for the Republican Party. Marr says with the results still coming in, it's hard to tell if any party has an advantage heading into the November general elections. I don't know that anybody knows how to feel in the in both parties. Uh, I think I think both parties were hoping for a little bit higher turnout across the board, and it does seem like the turnout was more in line with a, a sort of normal year of having primaries. Marr adds national events in the next few months, including the indictments of Donald Trump and Hunter Biden, could play a role in the November general election. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Englander.